What's up guys, so I thought I'd do an if it fits your macros um, full day of eating. Um, so yeah, first meal day, it's not only like something stupid like most people do, in my opinion, that they do like say, two pop tarts and uh, I don't know, Chris Bar or something like that. That's obviously their way of doing it. I do it a different way. 89% um, good and that is. Uh, extra ten percent. Um, the yeah, the things you're craving. So this is as simple as it gets. It's not eggs and oats for meal one. It's um. I'll actually show you what type of it is. It's this boiling bag, and I need to get a new camera. It takes forever to focus. But we have that's half a bag. Here, so using the full bag, I just basically times it by two. So that's the that's what uh, the macros for the rice is. I'll put it all on the screen. Uh, and there's I don't I don't know what ounces are. I obviously know what ounces are. I don't know what ounces measure out to. So this is 120 grams of chicken. It's chicken store fry so there's a little bit of flavour on it that's the best way uh, I get through rice quickly there's two things that get me through rice quickly there's salmon or any type of fish really it's mainly salmon or chicken that is covered in a type of marinade that's how it gets me through rice like the thing I hate is eating rice bland with chicken that's bland that's that's disgusting. Um, so yeah, that's how I get. Sorry if I'm going in and out of darkness. Um, that's the first meal of the day. So, going to the gym about an hour, an hour and a half after this. So, let's see what the next one is. What's up, guys? So, I'm just getting ready to go to the gym. Uh, just showing you my current, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, current stack. So, here's just um, 50 grams of whey protein. Uh, here's just simple creatine uh glutamine peptide or peptide glutamine uh this will be my post workout i'll show you what i'm doing for my intro workout this bag lasts you about a year uh, easily no not a year that's over exaggerating about half a year five months to half a year um i just use uh 20 grams uh, because the 10 gram scoop only adds up to 6 grams of BCAAs so I use ten, uh, 20 grams just to get excuse me 20 grams to get um, like 12 to 13 grams of BCAAs and then I think you know what's coming for pre walking not sure if I should go one or two also I think these are these supplements are probably the most underrated type of supplements when dieting. Um, just the fish oil, multivitamin, and you can use this in as well. I just like taking them, uh, vitamin C tablets. Those are probably the most underrated supplements around because people just want to take... Uh, well, it's mainly kids just want to say that they take creatine or pre-workout or protein or BCAAs. None of them actually focus on the the minerals and the uh, micronutrients. Those are probably more important in a way. Because you, if you don't absorb a certain uh, vitamin or mineral, it can have an effect on your uh, macronutrients. That they aren't absorbed 100%. So, any beginner, even Steve Cook pre preaches it, these aren't expensive. So, this was in the shopping center, in the shop, um, 69 cent. This was, I think, a euro, 70 cent. They're not expensive. I don't see why people won't use them, especially if you're dieting. Um, your body is under so much stress. From not um, taking in the normal amount of food they are taking in, so 
in my opinion, it should be supplementing with uh, vitamins and multivitamins. But back to the supplements. Um, you already know I have been. I'm not gonna course. I've been using C4 and Super HD ever since I came back from Birmingham. Have a little announcement to make about C4 in a different video. I might put it at the end of this video. At the end, yeah, at the end of the video. So yeah, um, stay tuned for that. What's up guys, so um, I didn't get to show you what I had right before the gym. you seen what I had uh, pre-workout. That was pre-workout supplements, but now I had um, a BSN bar. Um, I'll put it on the screen now what it looks like. But I also bought a pack of Quest bars. Um, I've only ever bought one box before i never actually bought more than one box i occasionally have you know they just buy one out of the shop and there's only two real quest bars that i like the cookie dough one and the chocolate chip one i think it is but anyway back to macros if you want to know the macros for the uh the bsm bar it's basically there 29 grams of carbs uh 30 grams of protein and 9.1 grams of fat um what i didn't include in it i should have um i went to the pictures or to the cinema uh seeing a uh, jurassic world it's a good film uh so i was in a rush and i wasn't able to obviously prepare anything so i went to the shop and bought chicken that's in a packet uh, it's just shredded chicken um it's just um chicken tikka it is uh so that's 35 grams of protein no grams of carbs uh, and no grams of fat so that's uh, added on i still haven't added that on but now i'm going to show you what i have for my next meal here it's just uh all the paso enchilada kit Sorry if I don't pronounce that wrong. Uh, so, this is what you get in it. I hate this camera. I need a new camera. There, A-soft tortillas. Uh, season mix for Angela and the tomato sauce. Um, yeah, I'll show you now what it looks like. This is going to be a voiceover part. What's up, guys? This, so this is what the meal looks like. Um, the macros for this is underlined here's the carbs here's the protein including the tortillas the chicken and the cheese okay. uh, yeah that's that and then that's the fat from the tortilla and the the um, cheese and so here is the quest bars that I bought a lemon cheese cake lemon cream pie sorry I hate this camera I need to get it focused so yeah, that's that. Um, I'll add all these up and see what I can have left with the rest of my day. See you then.